I have this calculator and you can see um, not all the digits are lighting up. See how they kind of are a little broken up there. So I took the back off this calculator. Turn on the light real quick. I took the back off this calculator and there's this ribbon cable. So if you if you look at this, if I push the ribbon cable, you see how the digits appear? Just by sliding my hand finger along this cable. So these adhes to the board. So if you can get like a post-it note, just stick that kind of here. What I do, then you got to, if you have a soldering iron, set the iron to 700 degrees. And then I take the tip of my iron, just kind of run it along this to try to get that that strip to bond to readhese to the circuit board. And by and you have to remove the back of the calculator, of course, which is here. But you'll now see. Let's see if it's uh, basically this. This allows us to start filling in the digits. It takes a little bit of heat. So let's do a little more. You don't want to be too long on this because it'll melt, right? It's hot. But it's already broken, so you can't really break it anymore, right? Let's see how this is doing. Getting better. Eight, a good one is to use eights. So we're down now to a couple of characters from where we were. Hi, it's me again. So I wanted to say, um, calculator is now fixed. If I push all, you can see now all of the digits work. And I put the hot, the soldering iron on the, um, on the calculator, just as I, just like this, you know, 700 degrees. We can now remove this post-it note gent gently. And um, we have a working calculator.